In this week's episode, we take failure head on and get back up the next day and try again, regardless of the weather. <laughs> we all have familiar places in their home that we like to shoot. Most of us are not visiting national parks on a weekly basis. So, these hunting grounds make for great skill sharpening and often help push us to see differently. So, last night I looked at the weather and debated if I should sacrifice rest over getting up early. Well, sunrise was overcast and a bust, but I was already out, so I drove to one of my favorite local areas in town and, let's just say, Sometimes, things don't go your way. Maybe shoot some birds. Maybe have some coffee. I think it's time to go home. I'm really sorry to bring a video like this to you. This negativity is bringing me down. I'm bringing myself down. Whew. I have to admit, I don't let the weather get the best of me, and I like a good challenge, but I was struggling to find an image this morning. No. Checking. One, two, three. Doesn't look like the sun's coming out at all, and now I'm losing a little of the mist that I had that gave a little, little bit of a mysterious feel to the to the morning. Even if I didn't get anything, it's it's still a good day. So. Good morning again. Day two, more of the same. Shall we try this again? I need some light. All right, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna give this a shot today. We're gonna work with what we have. We're gonna stay optimistic and try to make some decent photography. So that's that. Um, I'm grab my stuff, set up and see what we can do. To notice is to seek. Similar to using a pair of binoculars, we can use our telephoto lens to hunt for interesting elements and then use those elements to frame our composition. We may have poor light here and unfavorable conditions, but that doesn't mean we can't make a nice photograph of what nature is offering. A good tip is to use your viewfinder because it removes distractions and helps you focus on what's inside your frame. By doing this, especially with a telephoto lens, you can more easily identify the elements that you're attracted to. This flowering dogwood caught my attention. Look how it stands out amongst the sea of vegetation and trees. Not so noticeable by the naked eye from across the reservoir, but it certainly jumps out by having a closer look. I have found my anchor. I'm going to use this element with the rule of thirds to frame this image. This was certainly a better morning than yesterday, and I'm glad it came back. So it pays to be persistent to come back out because each morning can be dramatically different from the next. And this is a perfect example. You know, it's it's funny now that I mention that because I had done a project down here a couple years ago where uh, I committed to coming down for every sunrise. This was during the 
um, just before autumn, we're in September, October, November, about three months straight, every morning I'd come down for sunrise and the project morphed into, well, what's going on after sunset? And I'd come down, what's going on at night? And I would come down for night as well. It was a challenge, it was difficult, um, but uh, but it really, it, it shows, it comes to show you just, just how much the landscape changes and a desire to to want to create with what nature is giving you so good stuff get out there and shoot <laughs>